After solving F2L, or the first two layers, then the next step is to solve the top to all be the same color. And this step is called orientation of the last layer, or OLL. Now for advanced solvers, OLL is a one-step process that requires a lot of algorithms. So instead, there is a two-step process that only requires 10 algorithms. So start by looking at all the edges that are the same color as this center. So we have this one and this one, and we'll ignore the corners. So if you get the line, make sure you hold it horizontal and then do this algorithm. Now, if you don't know how to read the algorithm, uh, you can check the description for how to read notation, or you can just watch what my hands do. So that goes like this, turn the front clockwise, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then undo that front move. So now the cross is done on top. So if you get two edges next to each other like an L shape, then hold that on the front and the right like this. Then you do the exact same algorithm except the front moves are with double layer. So that goes like this. Front double layer, and then R, U, R prime, U prime, and then double layer front, and then that's the cross. So if you get the dot with no edges, then uh, you can just do the one for the horizontal line, which goes like this, front clockwise, R, U, R prime, U prime, front counterclockwise. And what that creates is this case. So all you have to do is do this case afterwards. So this is the wide move version. And that makes the cross. So once you've solved the cross, then the next step is to get all of the same colors on top. So I'm gonna see how many corners are facing up already. And here we only have one. So if you only have one, just move that so that it's on the front. And then uh, make sure you can also see yellow over here on the front. So we don't, so we can put it on the other front part. So now it's still on the front, but we see yellow here. So this is the correct way to hold it. So for this, you could memorize the algorithm, but it might be easier to just watch how some of the pieces move here, and then that'll be easier to memorize. So if this sticker facing you is on the right, then this is gonna be the right version of this algorithm. So we take this front right slot out like this, move it up, move it over, and move this back down, and then just move it over again until it's as far away as possible. Now we're going to put it all back in one smooth motion. So just move this up, move this in, two moves, and then move this back down. So here's the other case. We have one corner done only. So we're gonna put that on the front and uh, we don't see yellow here. So we're gonna move it to the other front spot. And now we do see yellow here. So this is gonna be the left version of this algorithm. So what you do is just do the exact same thing with the left slot. You move the left slot up, move this F12 pair out, move this back down, move this all the way to the end over here and then put it all back in in one motion. So now looking at the cases where there's no corner already done. So for the case where these two face one way and the other two face the other way, then this algorithm is pretty easy to memorize. You turn the front clockwise, and then it's just like the other um, the ones where you're trying to make the cross. You do R, U, R prime, U prime, except you do it three times. So that's once, twice, three times, and then undo that front move. Now for the other case where there's no corners on top, uh, you'll see two here that face one way, but then the other two are not like that. Instead, they're over here and over here. So just take the ones that face away from each other and put that on the right side. So this algorithm is pretty easy to memorize if you just memorize what your hands do. So you're gonna start by doing R and then U2. And then now from now on, it's just gonna be R2s and U prime over and over. So R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2. And once you finish the third R2, then uh, it's already looking kind of solved. Just put this pair over here, so U2, and then back up. Now for the cases where two corners are already done, and if they're diagonal from each other, then there's only one case for this. So hold it so that one of the solved ones is on the front right, but then also make sure you can see the two corner stickers here. So this is not the right way to go. Instead, put this one on the front right, and then now we can see the two corner stickers. So first, rotate so you face the bottom. Now the pattern is that the R side is gonna move up and down over and over, and then the top and bottom, well, you'll see. So we're gonna move right side down, and then the top is gonna to move this way, right side back up, and then the bottom's also going to move that way. And then now the same thing, but towards the right side. So right side down, push this to the right side, right side up, push this to the right side, and that's it. So again, that's face the bottom, and then R prime, move to the left, R, move to the left, R prime, move to the right, R, move to the right. Now, if the two solved corners are next to each other, then this could make two possible cases. So the first case I'm gonna be talking about is if these two stickers face in opposite directions. So what you do here is put this big block on the right side here. So we're gonna rotate down and try to memorize the directions where the layers go. So move the left side down, and then the top is actually just gonna go back and forth. So it starts by going this way, and then move the right side down, and then the top, of course, just goes back that way. 
Now it's the same thing as the start, but going back upwards. So left side up, right side up. Now for the last case, I've saved this one for last because it's a bit harder to memorize than the other ones. There's no exactly clear pattern, but what you do is uh, you see that there's two solved here already, and then these two face the same direction. So then um, get these facing you, and then what you do is this. R2, D, like this, and then R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. All right, so that's it for two look OLL. You have 10 algorithms in order to solve all of the top. And if you're interested, the next step is called two look PLL or permutation of the last layer. So that's gonna be the next video. And uh, if you just wanna see a preview, here's how it works. You do one algorithm that can solve all of the corners. And then you do another algorithm that can solve all of the edges. And then that's it.